know who you are? You're Bozo the Clown. No, I am Pedro Cabral, the discoverer of Brazil, not the freaking sounding being you speak of. I don't recognize you, but surely you must remember me. The great Ferdinand Magellan, the first to sail around the world. I haven't a clue about who you are, Mr. Sa sailor around the wor world. And what kind of world are you sailing around without knowledge of my discovery? Apparently, the world I'm in doesn't let me recognize you, and that's that. Hey, Bozo the Clown! I am not a clown. I am a royal descendant and a dignified figure. King Manuel trusted me to explore the Indies, and he let me be a member of the King's Council when I was young. So do not disgrace me. Wait, I recognize you. Yes, yes, finally. Marco Polo! No, oh, no, no. How do, you, uh, how do you recognize him, but not me? Yes, yes, and you, Ferdinand Magellan. Marco Polo, you are quite a recognized figure. I definitely respect you for your trading in China. It was some of the best trading I've heard of. You were the son of nobles and was educated at the Queen Lawrence School for the Pages. I heard you were... You were big into astronomy and navigation. Yes, Queen. Uh, I was also amazingly educated. Because of my wealthy family, I learned at the King's course. I was a star student, and I studied a large variety of subjects, from math to physics. But not a rec recognized student. And you had it easy when you were a kid. My mom died when I was young. And I had to live with my aunt and uncle while my dad was on exploration. I sailed on, on many explorations in my early 20s when I was in the Portuguese army. I may not have been young when I sailed, but I did go on a successful trade route to the Indies. I even had striped spices with me right this moment. Is this proof? Speaking of exploration, when I was sailing to China with my uncle and dad, I was just 17, 17 years old, still in my early life. I worked for King Kion. Oh, yes, and I know you had many hardships on your way to China. You caught an illness and had to stay in the mountains for a year. But soon after, you traded in China for valuables. You stayed there for over two decades, correct? And then King Khan of China sent you to discover new land in Asia. I know you had many hard... I slowed down with the facts. Don't forget about your journey. You left from Spain to try to discover a faster route to the Spice Islands. You sailed along Africa for a while, then cut across the Atlantic Ocean to South, a South, a South America. You found sh a straight going tip to South America and went into an ocean you called the Pacific Ocean. You prevented multiple mutinies along and baptized almost 2,000 natives. At the island of Guma, in the Philippines, although you did not get all the way back to Spain, you got to the Philippines. Years before you reached the Philippines, when you were in the Portuguese army, therefore you went around the world, but not in one trip. Exactly. Here is a map of my exploration. Am I still here? Yes, but it is of no importance that you are here, because I do not know you. But I am the discoverer of Brazil, one of the greats of exploration. I have no idea who you are. Still, me and you. Okay, it's time you know what I did. I departed from Lisbon with a fleet of 13 ships and stopped at the Canary and Cape Verde Island. I was going on a trade route to the Indies. You're not ringing a bell. We went due south of Africa and saw a mountain. We stopped and claimed it for Portugal. And when we left ten days later, we lost many ships. We got to the Indies and went into war with traders. We had difficulty setting up a trading post. You discovered a mountain? Yes. So, eventually, we started trading for spices, and it was successful. The following year, we sailed back to Portugal with several ships loaded with the value spices, and even a little bit of diamonds. You brought back diamonds? That is respectable. We returned to Lisbon with the spices. And although we were happy, 
You were still sorrowful about the deaths during the journey. Yes, I finally remember. You were the friend of Vasco da Gama, one of, one of the who went on a follow-up expedition for him because he was so tired. Yes, yes, that is me. Yes, Fresco da Gama, you are his friend? Correct. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, I, I still don't know who you are. 